remote access in Tally Prime. You can decide when to connect your company for users to access remotely and disconnect the same when it is not needed. You need to have internet connection on the computers where Tally Prime is installed. Click on F11 and set show more features to yes. Now under online access section, set enable tally.net services for remote access and synchronization to yes. Press Alt plus K or click on company menu from top menu bar then press O or click on connect. If you have enabled control user access to company data for your company, move to next. In case you have not enabled control user access to company data feature for your company, Teleprime will prompt you for the same. In the security and user access screen, the option control user access to company data is set to yes. Provide the administrator details. This login credential is for the company data. Specify email ID which needs to be provided for browser access or it can be left none. Please note, if you use a tally.net ID for browser access, same will not work for remote access. Accept the screen and company is connected to tally.net server for remote access. Once the company is connected, a sign appears against the company name in the list of selected companies in the gateway of tally. Provide remote access to tally.net users. Users can be configured for remote access from Alt plus K or click on company menu from top menu bar, then users and passwords. Select the security level as net owner. In username, enter a valid tally.net ID for which you want to give access. Please note, you can check for valid tally.net IDs on the tally portal by logging in with account administrator's email ID. You can also create more tally.net IDs if needed. Set allow remote access to yes for the user. Authorized users can log in to a remote instance using Tally Prime installation and use the connected company. In Tally Prime, at the remote location, log in using your Tally.net ID and password. Select Remote Company from Select Company screen. In case the company is loaded during startup, press Alt plus K or click on Company menu from top menu bar. Click on Select. Alternatively, press Alt plus F3 from Gateway of Tally. Enter your Tally.net ID and password. Select the required remote company. On successful authentication, the remote user details are displayed in the Gateway of Tally screen. The remote serial number is displayed in About screen. The selected company is available for use based on the access rights given to you. Once a remote station is created in the tally.net server, a unique identification number is assigned to it and the station remains valid till the user logs out. A remote user can access only one company data at a time. You can allow many users to access your company remotely. Based on your Tally Prime edition, number of concurrent users will vary. Press Alt plus K or click on company menu from top menu bar, then select users and passwords. 
select the security label as tally.net owner tally.net user or tally.net auditor you can also create security levels if needed in username enter the required tally.net id or select the tally.net id from list of users in account set the option allow remote access to yes and accept set the option allow local tdl to yes to allow the remote user to access local tdls set the option allow browser access to yes to allow user to access reports in browser feature in case you need to disallow remote access for this company for a user set allow remote access to no these users can access your company remotely whenever the companies are connected you can enable or disable remote access to your company as per your needs press f11 if you have already enabled remote access, you will see that enable tally.net services for remote access and synchronization is set to yes under online access. If you need to disable remote access, set this option to no. That's it guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Keep supporting me like this. Please share my videos with your nearest one. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates. You can click on the info card to watch my previous videos or you can click on the playlist from info card to know elaborately.